It's currently 1.37. I'm kind of getting a late start to my day. I wrote a to-do list down. I want to do some skincare really quickly, do my makeup, a couple of chores that I need to do. I wanted to go grocery shopping, have a couple of returns that I need to do. I want to go to Target to pick up some things. So hopefully we can get all that stuff done today. It looks like a lot, but we mean business on this channel. I wanted to show you guys my skincare routine. First step is to put on one of these cute little headband things. I got a couple of these for Christmas and I think they are the cutest thing ever. I've always wanted one. So thank you mom and stepdad. I know I kind of look ridiculous, but it's kind of cute. It's kind of a look. I also got gifted a couple skincare products for Christmas. So my mom got me the Superfood Air Whip Moisturizing Cream by Youth to the People. And then my mom also got me Niacinamide, which I am excited about because I ran out a couple weeks ago. My mom also got me a Gua Sha, which I'm so excited about because if y'all didn't know, I broke my Gua Sha a couple days right after I bought it. So now I have a new one and this is a pink one. I think she ordered all of this stuff on Amazon. I also have my Sun Bum sunscreen, which is my fave and then my my Laneige lip sleeping mask. I kind of just wanted to catch up with you guys. I am gonna be starting school in like a week from today and I'm not necessarily super fond of the idea of having to go back to school. I'm still debating on whether or not I should do classes in person since that option is all available to us. I did take one in-person class last semester and I mean it wasn't awful. It honestly kind of helped me to stay on track because the other class that I did wasn't in person it was very easy for me to get carried away and not complete my assignments in time I was literally submitting my assignments at like 11:59, working on my paper like 10 minutes before it was due and it just wasn't ideal for me so I think I am gonna challenge myself to take a couple more classes in person hopefully it can keep me accountable and I can socialize it does suck a little bit because I recall like being so excited for college in high school and I never really got the college experience that I had envisioned since I was like 12 years old I'm using the gua sha right now i'm just gonna be going up maybe 10 times then 10 times this way and then doing 10 times 10 times i'm trying to incorporate the gua sha in my morning routine even though it's literally like one in the afternoon right now you know it's still morning to me it's the thought that counts <laughs> Then I'm gonna go ahead and apply my sunscreen. Once again, I say this probably every video, please put on sunscreen. So I just put a crap ton like this. I saw on a TikTok that you're supposed to put like literally a teaspoon of sunscreen on your face, but that just seems a little bit excessive. So if you think this is a lot, I barely put like a teaspoon. It literally feels like I'm putting butter on my face. <laughs> Guys, I'm getting a little pimple and I am, I have, I have the time, that I'm, I'm on that time of the month, if you will. And and I'm not necessarily thriving. I am kind of feeling a little bit slumped. But you know what? We're gonna make do. I wanted to show you guys the stuff that I got from Merit Beauty. Thank you Merit for sending me these products. First of all, packaging is A1. I'm gonna be trying out some products right now for you guys. I have to um, get blind again. First product that I'm gonna be using is the Minimalist Perfecting Complexion Stick or the concealer in simpler terms. Oh shoot, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to put my primer on. I'm to be using Rare Beauty primer. I think this primer slaps. It's just my fate. Whenever I forget to do this, my makeup just doesn't blend as nicely on my skin. And then it also has kind of a glittery finish. I just look like I'm a buttered glazed donut. <laughs> If any of you guys know a product to use for people that are struggling with redness around the nose, let me know because it is something that I struggle with so much for some reason. It's kind of my big problem area. It's a little bit of a bummer. I'm gonna be using the brush that they actually send. I really like it. Like the feel of a new brush, oh, gives me tingles. <laughs> Quick disclaimer, I am not a beauty guru. So if my makeup looks bad after, um, don't judge me in the comments. It's not like heavy coverage, but it does the job. I hope I blended that right. You can also blend with your fingers, but the brush is more fun. Coffee break. I worked out my arms earlier and they are hella sore. The next product that I'm gonna be using is their eyebrow product. It's a pomade for your eyebrows. And right now guys, you are about to witness the snatchery of an eyebrow. I love this eyebrow product a lot. It has such like a nice applicator. 
I got this in the brown shade. I barely started wearing makeup 2019, which is after I graduated from high school. I was only using mascara and the occasional pink blush. My makeup knowledge was very, very slim. Oh shoot, I got a message. My first introduction to makeup was actually Glossier. And I think a lot of these products really remind me of Glossier simply because they are so natural. You can literally do the perfect no makeup makeup look with these products. That's the type of makeup style that I prefer. I just love wearing makeup. Whenever I started experimenting with makeup, it made me appreciate my natural features a lot more. I still have the same eyes. I still have the same eyebrows. They're just shaded in a little dark. I still have the same face structure. It's just a little bit enhanced. I'm gonna be using this brush to put a little bit of bronzer around my face. I feel like a bronze goddess right now. I love bronzer so much. I think it just helps to liven up the face. And then of course, acts as a little contour here and there, pipe. I hope my makeup doesn't look bad right now because I can't see how it looks. I know this is so random, but this year, I really want to try my hand at eyeliner. I've never experienced with eyeliner before because it just scares me. My best friend, Liani, did my eyeliner a couple times before and guys, I look like a baddie, dude. Like, I look so fire. I sound so conceited right now, but you know, confidence is key, baby. So we're gonna be applying this mascara. I really like the applicator. Oh, I love it. Q-tips are a girl's best friend. Perf. Now I'm gonna add some highlight, which is one of my favorite parts of makeup. I think it just helps to liven up the face. This is the Merit highlighter. I think it's so pretty. The packaging is chef's kiss. Oh, it's so creamy. I think this just helps to brighten up the eye. And then I'm gonna add some to close to my eyebrow tail. And I just like to do this for fun. And then go in with some Makeup Forever setting powder. Or I don't even know if this is setting powder. This is loose powder. I don't really know the difference. And then my final step, I'm gonna be adding is a lip mask by Laneige. And then I'm gonna be adding, it's a really pretty like orangey mauve type color. So pretty guys. There you go, there is the finished makeup look. I really love all of Merit's products, so I'll be sure to link all of the products down below if you wanna check them out. Go ahead and finish getting ready off screen and then we're gonna go run some errands. It is a couple hours later. The sun is literally setting right now. I think it's exactly five o'clock. For the past couple hours, I've just been editing and stuff. I got a little bit carried away and I forgot that I was filming low key. So I'm sorry about that. Just a lot of things that I wanted to do today didn't end up happening. I'm probably just gonna be continuing the vlog tomorrow. Guys, I wanna show you guys something. So my mom got me the Glossier perfume for Christmas and guys, mm, it's so cute. I love the freaking packaging so much. I'm just gonna like, Brissed out everywhere. I love it. It's so pretty. Look at it. It's so cute. She is perfect. But yeah, let's go. family and I ended up stopping for dinner so it is literally like 9 p.m. right now I feel like so much of my day was wasted editing I will be continuing the vlog tomorrow I wanted to show you guys what I got at Whole Foods today we were literally not planning on going there at all but then we had to drop off some medication for my sister I got a lot of like fruits and vegetables because that's something that I'd be trying to consume more of this year I got oh my god a pineapple I've been craving pineapples with like tahini for so freaking long so I'm excited to chop this up tomorrow. I got a cucumber. I got some red strawberries I think strawberries are the best fruit in the world Tell me what your favorite fruit is in the comments below because honestly, I feel like strawberries are just a winner for me Also, my battery is flashing so I'm gonna try to do this really quick I also got some vanilla Greek yogurt. This time I got the right granola guys <laughs> If you know, you know. Got the peanut butter clusters by Kind. This is so good with yogurt and even just putting like some almond milk in here Eating it like a 
like a cereal chef's kiss it is so good i also got these like milk chocolate nut bars my stepdad saw these and just told me that he wanted them so i got them for him and i'm probably going to be trying one myself too because they look delicious got some green grapes two avocados i got one that is like ready to be eaten one that isn't ready to be eaten i got some yellow baby potatoes i just think they're cute <laughs> so that's why I got them. I don't think anyone has ever described potatoes as cute, but here I am. I also got a zucchini. And then last but not least, I got two chocolates. Some Justin Dark Chocolate Cashew Peanut Butter Cups. And then I also got chocolate XOXO almonds and sea salt and dark chocolate by Choco Love. <laughs> this chocolate is so freaking good. It's also vegan, dairy-free, organic. It's fire. That was my rapid grocery haul. I will see you guys tomorrow morning. <laughs> long sleeve shirts that I got in Uncle Libby and I ended up not really liking them. They didn't fit nice on me. So I want to return those and I also want to go to Target to pick up some things, specifically some lotion because my hands are hella dry and I also saw some cool things on TikTok that I kind of wanted to try out. So yeah, let's go. I have to like chug this because my mom is waiting for me in the car, but let's, let's go baby. <laughs> oh, this is so cute. Wait guys, I forgot I'm not shopping. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Not just for you. Hi. Guys, I really want to get a yoga mat, but they're so flat. Like a lot of the yoga mats that I've seen are super thin. So I want to find a yoga mat that is a little bit thicker. <laughs> Thank you, That's sir. Part of the deal. You can do <laughs> Have a good one, sir. I'm looking for a lotion. I have no clue. You would think that after going to Target literally at every single vlog that I film, I would know where the stuff is. You have no idea where the lotion's at. Excuse me? Where can I find the lotion? A22. Thank you. This is delicious. Method came out with a lotion and I really wanted to try it, but I don't even know if they have it. I will have to get this lotion for my mom. This lotion is fire. I think it was this one. I wanted to see if they have different colors. These were the vitamins that the TikTok was talking about. They look kind of gross though. <laughs> I need to buy a new brush. My freaking brush broke today. I think this is the same one. Actually, I was wrong. It's these ones. I'm about to go ask someone who works here about where I can find these because I don't know where they're at. Oh, that? Yeah. Um, you can get the beauty team member over here. All right, cool. Thank you. All the real technique stuff is out of stock. I was really hoping to get one of those brushes. I'm looking for this mouthwash. I found it. Honor is so cute. So I just came back from Target and I got a lot of products that were kind of like hygiene and self-care related. A lot of these things I saw on TikTok. So that was the main reason why I got some things. I'll show you guys what I got. First things first, I got Eusterin. We got a new one. I really wanted to find the Method Beauty Lotion, but I, I failed miserably. I don't think they have it at my Target, which is unfortunate. Some Earth Lovin' Grin Gloss Sticks. This might be TMI and a little bit gross. I promise 
promise you I do my best to keep up with hygiene but flossing is something that quite frankly I have not prioritized in my dental hygiene routine so I really want to start flossing more I have like the regular like string floss and it's just so annoying I hate it I don't like it anymore they're made with recycled plastic which I thought was really cool I also got this hair towel it was pretty darn expensive I just saw it on TikTok and I wanted it I really wanted the pink one but they only had this color according to hair talk using regular cotton towels are not really good for you I guess it can damage your hair or something like that I don't really know why. according to packaging <laughs> saves time is super absorbent reduces frizz and makes your hair look shiny I'll let you guys know how I like it in a future vlog so subscribe if you want to hear my opinion on this product I don't know. I ended up getting the Eco Tools Blending and Bronzer Brush. I broke it this morning while doing my makeup. According to the packaging, it says to replace every 12 months, and I think I've had this for longer than 12 months, so it's fine. <laughs> this is another product that I also got because of TikTok. It is the 8 Greens Daily Greens Gummies. They are vegan, and they're supposed to help you get all of your daily greens in. I got some Peach Vibe Celsius, my favorite energy drink alternative. I love these so much. I started drinking them in June of last year and I'm so happy. That's probably the best decision I ever made. So thank you Alicia Marie for getting me on these. I got this CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser and then this CeraVe Daily Moisturizing Lotion. I got these for one of my friends because I wanted her to try out these products. She's been using St. Ives. If you know, you know. I was just like, girl, I got you. You CeraVe, thank me later. Super affordable options, by the way. It's always a joy going to the Target mini section. Yet again, another item I got simply because of TikTok. This is the Fear Breath Dentist Formulated Fresh Breath Oral Rinse. We're trying to improve our dental hygiene. Also got my favorite non-dairy creamer from Starbucks. It is the Caramel Macchiato Inspired Creamer. This is literally have become my holy grail. I love it so much. I use Used to be the type of person to buy a coffee every spanking day and you know my wallet was just not happy with me so I've been making my coffee at home recently and I started to realize that I actually prefer making my own coffee as opposed to buying it from like a coffee shop I also got this key from Home Depot probably like three months ago I lost my house keys and I've been using my mom's spare keys and she's been telling me like Adriana just go get your key at Home Depot so I finally got it today I I saw a TikTok about keys and how like you shouldn't be showing people your keys because they can go replicate it with like a 3D printer or something. But it's cute, it's pink. And then last but not least, I got a little gift for my friend. I got her this mini A Thousand Wishes perfume from Bath & Body Works and then a gift card to McDonald's. I also got her this Fenty Beauty gloss balm. So this is her little mini late Christmas present. <laughs> Anyways.